So I'm here with Aurel, who is uh, one of the top bloggers in France, uh, to learn about what's happening in France, uh, in, the, in, in internet and, and high tech, and also to find out what it's like to be a blogger uh, secretly blogging from a, a, an undisclosed location. Oh, we can disclose it. I live in Israel, actually. In, uh, Tel Aviv. Should I look at the camera? Should I look at, yeah, it's... Look at the camera. I live in Israel, in Tel Aviv, for five and a half years. And uh, I actually, yeah, I do TechCrunch France. So it's the uh, French antenna of uh, TechCrunch, which used to be a translated version, but which is our, now a local version of TechCrunch. But you do this for France from Tel Aviv. Absolutely. So it's and totally. And how, how can you do this? Is it the opposite of being a foreign correspondent? Normally, a foreign correspondent is sent to a foreign country to write for the local publication. You're writing for the local publication from a foreign country. Well, first, like a few elements of context. I'm French. I've been living in France for a few years. I graduated from a French MBA. I work in internet in France, so I have a few relations. That's number one. Number two, uh, even though I live in Israel, I often travel to France, and I still have a lot of connections. I work for a venture firm, and we have a few investments in. France, so I have opportunities to come over. Uh, number three, there is the internet, and the magic of the internet is that you can pretend being somewhere, being being somewhere else, while you are in another place. And um, I do not shout that I'm not in France. Actually, many people cannot guess that I'm abroad, but I have access to a lot of local information, which is at the end of the day what matters. This is number one. Number two is reactivity and freshness of information. I try to be as close as possible to what's happening in France whether it's in terms of startup created, acquired, uh, you know, things that are in the public agenda. Uh, um, this is number two. Number three, I'm trying to be as close as possible to my readers uh, and the internet for that is helping a lot. So of course I'm very responsive with emails, which is my favorite channel of communication. I'm very present in Twitter. Uh, Twitter is becoming a, a major communication channel for me and I think it helped me getting closer to some of, of, uh, of my uh, uh, some of my readers present on Facebook and many social platforms. So I think at the end of the day, uh, if you have a good network in a, in, a, in a given country, access to information, you know, kind of create a sense of proximity through the internet and are very reactive and close to the freshness of information, I think it's possible to create a, a blog on any country from any place. Okay, so this is this is blogging without frontiers. Absolutely, and I think, you know, the internet doesn't end frontier. So, you know, tomorrow there could be a TechCrunch Spain made from Russia and a TechCrunch Russia made from Spain, as long as I think there are so those elements that help you building that. Which is you need to have the deep connections already in place before you make that move. Absolutely, because you can always be an observer from you know a remote observer but at the end of the day you need to create the sense of proximity and immediacy so you can only do that if you have physical connections it cannot only be virtual you need to be you have to have some sense of physical presence so I'm lucky enough because I'm traveling to France how often I, do you come to France I come every at least once a quarter uh, maybe once every more. three or four months yeah absolutely uh, when I come here I'm extremely busy and meeting many many persons uh, talking to conference and it give me the opportunity like here today in two days I'm you know I've I filled up the database for covering news for the next two months and I have so many things to talk about and startups that are going to be launching and we're going to cover and and, and I think I think you know th those events help me save time also okay excellent thank you very much it's so complete we're gonna do a second video on trends all right let's do that